All right, so you're good with this. So on the count of three, throw the deck at the center of the pinball. We go okay. one, four. We go two hmm. and three. Welcome to Young Hollywood. I'm Molly Argue, and trust me, for the next few minutes, you're not going to want to blink because today I am joined by Christopher Wayne and Mike Tyler, the co-creators and co-stars of The Naked Magic Show. But they're dressed at the moment. Oh. Well, yeah, we are. I mean, it's Young Hollywood. We, we can give you a taste. We can't give you the whole Naked Magic Show experience What's here. Let's take a little bit off, yeah? Give me a bit of a taste. A bit Already? Of a yeah. Yeah, we'll give you, we'll give you a taste. That's sure. straight in. Yeah. I guess my first question to you two is, can you tell me a little bit about your history with magic? How did you start? And tell me a little bit about your careers as well. Well, before we did the Naked Magic show, I was actually a magician on a kids' TV show back in Australia, which a lot of people find hard to believe. <laughs> And uh, Mike will be the one to tell you I am not welcome back on that show. Yeah. And Mike, you were a high-end corporate yeah. entertainer, right? High-end corporate, exactly, yeah. So I did shows for big corporate companies back home. And uh, we were both closed magicians for some time, about six or seven, maybe eight years before we designed the uh, world's naughtiest magic show. A lot of people think this show might just be a bit of skin with a bit of magic thrown in, but we were both doing magic and comedy first and then had to learn to take our clothes off after that. So you're well trained. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's well, good to know. Sorry, we've never been asked that before. <laughs> well trained. I think the name is a teaser of the show mm. itself, so I hear you have a little something to show me. Yeah, we do. Performance yeah, we to have show another, me, I guess, we right have a, now. We have a little bit of magic to show you. So, yeah? uh, look, what I've actually Now I'm nervous with after that one. <laughs> today is, uh, is a little stack of celebrities here, which is, they're basically celebrities that uh, a lot of people like to have a crush on, you know, like uh, famous, attractive celebrities. Marilyn, people consider it attractive now or at some point in time. Okay, the Biebs. Justin right? Biebs. Everyone loves the Biebs, right? Let's make it a comeback. Uh, Ryan Gosling and so on. So look, give them a good mix up. Now, to select one of the celebrities, uh, Molly, we're going to get you to deal out any five of those celebrity names just okay. on the clipboard, face down. Okay, that's one. You don't have to deal from the top, do whatever you like. That's three. A couple more. I think that's five. That's, that's five. That's five. There you Excellent. go. Excellent. Awesome. Now, good of math. those five, I'm going to get you to just grab one for me. Just grab one. Okay, have a look at it. Don't let me see. I'll grab okay. the rest of the cards. You don't need those anymore. Now, is it someone you've heard? Don't say who it is, but is it someone you've heard of? Yes. Yes, it is. Perfect. Excellent. Well, I want you to visualize that celebrity's face because we're going to try some mind reading right here. Visualize that celebrity's face right here. We're going to ask you a few questions about the celebrity in a moment. We don't want you to answer the questions out loud, though. Think them only in your mind. Okay. okay? I'm going to grab my gotcha. scissors as well for this trick. And uh, Chris? Okay, so I'm gonna face this way again because I don't wanna see anyone's facial expressions or anything like that. Mike's okay. got a really cool skill that involves cutting, uh, which sounds weird, but on a sheet of paper, he can do some cool cutting. So I'm gonna ask you some questions, Molly. Don't answer out loud though. Okay? Just in my mind? Just, Just in, mind. in yep. your mind. Yep. Gotcha. Okay? I'll tell you a quick psychic joke. Pretty good, huh? So funny. Yeah, I thought you'd like that one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna ask you some questions, answer in your mind. Mike, I'll, I'll tell you what to cut up. Okay. So Molly, is a celebrity dead or alive? I'm gonna say he's alive. Hair color, Molly, think of their hair color right now. Oh, okay, I'm gonna say it's mostly dark. There might be a touch of, mm, a touch of silver fox, but definitely darker color hair, Mike. Go darker color hair, maybe. Okay, good. Maybe <laughs> silver fox, a dark overall. And uh, actor, singer, sports person, politician. What do they, what do they do, Molly? What do they do? Ah, okay, it's an actor, but mm, I heard that with your lips. It's not just an actor, that's weird. <laughs> I think they're in, mostly an actor, but they might sing or dance or something okay. along those lines. Definitely an entertainer. So might oh, I think go, I go yeah. for actor, but I think there might be some like some side some projects. Uh, Making all sorts and of I think that's here. all. I'm going to say it's a male. I'm going to say they're alive. Uh, darkish hair, maybe with a bit of silver, and an actor that does maybe a bit of singing or something along those lines. Um, okay, so as actor, male, alive, and dark hair. Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, on the count of three, I want you to turn that card around and call out the name of the celebrity that you've been thinking of. <gasps> One, two, and three. Hugh Jackman. Hugh, Hugh Jackman. Okay, so we were on the right track there. We were, we were. Actually, I was on exactly the no. right track because Hugh Jackman is also known as the Wolverine. Stop it. That Hugh Jackman right there. That's there amazing. We well, how did you two meet? Mike was the guest entertainer at an event that I was attending as a guest. And I, I got there and my friends who I was at the event with said, there's a magician, you gotta go check it out. 
and uh, that's where it all started. We became best friends. We already uh, we already wanted to create something different to what every other magician in the world's mm -hmm. doing, and uh, we wanted to take magic to an audience that otherwise wouldn't go and see a magic show. In the show, we do promise three things. We promise it will be one of the most amazing magic shows you'll ever see. We do promise it'll be one of the funniest shows you'll ever see, and we do promise to get everything off. Today we'll give you a little bit of a taste. So we do actually have a very cheeky card trick right here great, to show you. Yes? Great. Molly, are you happy to be involved though? Because if you say yes now, then you're signing up for the rest of this show to help us do some magic. I'm a little nervous, but I'm so excited. You won't have to take anything off, we promise. Okay, good, good. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> Molly, we have, a, we have a deck of cards here. I want you to check these are all different. You can see oh, those, yes. 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 Excellent. All right, we'll show everybody watching. Okay, just like that. Now, uh, Molly, we're going to get you to choose just one card here for us. Do All not right. let me influence you, though, okay? So anywhere you Love like, it. as I go through the deck, you just say stop here for me. Just say stop. Stop. Stop there. Excellent. Bring the card to the top. Have a look at it. Don't show me, and don't let Chris see either. Memorize the card, and then place it up against your chest for us, okay? Place it up against your chest. Chris? Okay, okay Molly, which, which hand are you holding the card against your chest with? My left hand. Hold gotcha. the card in your left hand. And this is kind of weird with your right hand. I want you to think of your card, but I want you to spank me. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. Put your right so hand your left hand, hand hold the card and right hand do the spanking. Okay, ready? Alright, yeah. I'm, I was born ready. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that was good, but you gotta do it like you like. Come on, I really get it. Okay, yeah, yeah, get into it. Two. Oh, yeah, alright, now do it like you're kind of mad. Okay, oh, that's the same, same place, same place, same place. <laughs> We're gonna, yeah. okay, that's I'm good. Practicing now, my now I need you to do it like a really big one this time. Like from the yeah, from the wind up. Okay. I'm gonna step out of the way here. Okay, big Ready? wind up. One, two. Oh, oh yeah, okay, wow. That that one felt kind of you are a good spanker. I'm I gotta in shape, show you. Bro. Okay, so I gotta ask, what was your card? Two of diamonds. Can we can we have a look at that? The two of diamonds? Okay, that's interesting. The two of diamonds. Can you hold that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh take my belt off. And I'm gonna turn around nice and slow because if you've spanked me hard enough, you should have left a mark. <laughs> and I've got a little bit of an Australian tan line down under. But uh, oh. oh, there's actually a bruise there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. exactly Stop that. it! Nice God. Of diamonds. Yeah! Fantastic. And here's the most incredible thing. There's a matching one on your right butt cheek. Uh -huh. Check this out. Yes it is. <laughs> there's not, yeah, but it was worth a <laughs> try, right? It was worth a try. <laughs> Alright Mike, so you have another trick? Yes we do, yes we do. Very... Yeah, cheeky magic trick right here, because we're called the Naked Magic Show, so we do magic a little differently. Uh, what we have here is a deck of cards. We did use it earlier for that trick where you were spanking Chris, alright? We, uh, we have a deck right there, okay? Now, I'm gonna get you to choose just one card out of here in a moment. Don't let me influence you, okay? So as I go through the deck, just say stop here for me. Stop. Stop there, excellent. Bring the card to the top, have a look at it, don't show me. Don't show anybody else. You know, make sure that uh, you memorize the card. Very important. And just slide okay. it back in the pack there for me. Someone came to the top and bottom. There, is it in yet? Yep. Oh, perfect. All right, now I'm going to get you. <laughs> no, we're not going to go there. All right, if you can place both hands out for us. Excellent. Hold on to the deck with your thumbs as well and just okay. spread them. Spread the cards out. Perfect. <laughs> Now we have the deck of cards, we have you helping us out. For this trick we also need a pin board, because that's what the trick's called. So uh, let me introduce Christopher Wayne, the yeah. other naked magician in I'm the Naked Magic like... Show. And it's about to get real. It's about to get a little more naked and a whole lot more dangerous. Do you want to explain what's going to happen? Absolutely, Mike? absolutely. So on the count of three, I'm going to get you to throw that entire deck of cards at the center of Chris's pin board, okay? Mm. Now when you throw them, I'll actually be standing over here and I'm going to throw this steak knife. All right, it's gonna fly right in front of you as you throw the deck. It's gonna penetrate one card, your card. Stab it right into Chris's pinboard. Okay, that's if it works correctly. Let's let's hope it yeah. does for Chris's sake. All right. <laughs> all right. So, um, <laughs> so uh, stand a little closer, Chris. There, okay. boys. Excellent. All and right. You'll throw the entire deck on the count of three. Okay. Here we go. We go one. Yeah, I'm ready. We go two and three. Oh, oh, oh. I got one. I got one. I got one ah. for the first time. What was your card, out loud? It was Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds, how'd it go, how'd it go? That card right there, the Jack of Diamonds? Yeah, yeah. The Jack of Diamonds, yeah, there we go. magic. Wow, <laughs> Molly, knock knock. Who's there? I love you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> wow. 